all right my dear so today in this tutorial we are going to discuss uh, i mean must say drive uh, provel governor this is one of the governor and this is a centrifugal governor as well as uh, uh, dead weight governor you must say that all right so first of all let me share with you one of the most important point before going to derive the provel governor the most important point is that you have to remember the diagram diagram play most important role in case of any derivation better you will remember the diagram much better you are going to derive the equation well uh, let's go for the diagram first that's why you can understand it and it would be quite easier for you to concentrate and uh, to put your concentration on my words this is a sleeve and uh, the mass of the sleeve is m here is one other ball here is another ball all right so this is a porter uh, sorry proel governor so basically what happen uh, if the two ball uh, two masses two masses ball are inclined like this then the porter governor become proel governor sounds good now let's draw its another diagram that's why we can derive the equation and this diagram is most important also so make sure these are there to sequel all right and a little bit make a leave little bit distance here that's why okay so this is mg plus minus f by 2 and this is whole by 2 okay now here we got theta here we got beta here the mass the ball and m r dash omega square because from here to here we are having a distance r dash here r here theta and here we have mg right so this is centrifugal force is acting this side this size actually i mean force because of acceleration due to gravity all right so this is uh, suppose the c this is b suppose this is a b c and this is h height of the governor and suppose that this is d all right sorry okay now uh, let's go for it <clears throat> so what happened what happened we, we we are getting this equation right now we have to write the equation we have to write the equation let me use another pen that's why you can understand how to write the equations much better way so basically we have to write what equation is that that is balance equation m r dash omega square into into okay we have to take this one also suppose this is uh, a into a okay so m r dash omega square into a is the moment is equal to m g m g c plus r c plus r minus r dash c plus r minus r dash is the here is the distance right plus mg plus minus f by 2 into c plus b the whole distance to find out the moment and this is the equation for balancing all right i hope you understand what i mean to say and this is really simple if you concentrate just know how to write this equation once you will come to know how to write this equation then it becomes easier for you to understand the equation all right so let's go for it so basically what i am doing here i'm i'm just uh, assuming a case i must say assuming assuming that this ball is not vertical i'm assuming that this ball is not sorry inclined i'm assuming that this block is uh, this ball is vertical then what will happen what will happen r dash is equal to r i'm repeating again repeating again i'm not assuming this ball is inclined i'm assuming this balls this ball two balls are vertical that means r is equal to r dash so what equation will be then m r omega square into a is equal to m g c plus m g plus minus f by 2 c plus b as simple as that okay if you will uh, if you will understand these equations then uh, i mean it, it will become quite easier for you to uh, to derive the equation all right so i'm what i'm doing i'm just sending this a to this side so m okay a all right okay so m all right so m 
r omega square is equal to mg into mg into c by a plus mg plus minus f by 2 okay now here is another thing my dear so basically what we are doing here we are trying to make this equation more easier and comfortable all right all right so basically what we are doing we are just trying to make this equation as simpler so basically what we have to do this a should be here because we have to multiply all these right so c plus p okay okay the bracket is closed here now what happen what we have to put concentration we have to take this d so if i have to take this d then i have to multiply this d here and i will do division c by d plus mg plus minus f by 2 c by d and b by d okay now we got the equation here so m r omega square as simple as that now let's go for the next uh, solution that is c by d c by d and b by d what is c by d exactly we have to find out from here okay c by d is equal to tan theta if you'll see this right angle triangle and b by d is sine b uh, sorry tan beta so basically what we have to do we have to write the equation in that way m r omega square d by a m g tan theta plus this should be in bracket m g plus minus f by 2 tan theta plus tan beta right so okay now now what i am doing i am just uh, just taking out this tan theta from this equation so d by a tan theta mg plus mg plus minus f by 2 here 1 plus tan beta by tan theta okay so m r omega square now another thing we have to consider what is tan theta is exactly we can get in another way so here is that tan theta look at this we have theta r and h so tan theta equal to tan theta is equal to we can write p by b r by h as we have got the same uh, uh, formula in case of water governor also so if you have watch or if you uh, you if you did that uh, derivation then it will become easier because you know proval porter and what governor uh, these governors are interrelated with each other all right so let's go for it m r omega square okay now m r omega square d by a r by h m g plus mg plus minus f by 2 1 plus z if if i'll consider tan beta by tan theta is equal to z okay consider that all right so r are cancel out okay now we got here m m omega square d by a in sorry d by a 1 by h i'm just taking lcm mg plus mg plus minus f 1 plus z okay now what i'm doing i'm doing here i'm multiplying here to m g and here also mg now m and m will be cancelled we will not do anything with this equation because this is most important we have to do case with this this part only this part we have to do calculation with this part because we got something to do right so omega square d by a into 1 upon h into g and just write do here because we are not touching even this part now what we got g is equal to what acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square omega is what 2 pi n upon 60 so 2 pi n divided by 60 whole square d by a into 9.81 by h is equal to this one should be do because we are not don't uh, write do in the examination i am just not writing because i don't want to spend that much time to, for repeating again 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 okay now what will happen after this uh, solution what we can get 
एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू डी बाय ए इनटू नाइन एटी फाइव बाय एच टू एम जी प्लस एम जी प्लस माइनस एफ वन प्लस जेड डिवाइडेड बाय टू एम जी डिवाइड बाय टू एम जी नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर इट दैट्स व्हाई यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट इट राइट ओके लेट्स गो फॉर इट ओके now case cases are most important here i'm going to share with you two cases only case one only one case is important okay so we are considered two things in one case only so here i got the equation what cases i can use let z is equal to 1 and f is equal to 0 that is friction because of that slip mass uh, slip mass i must say so n square is equal to d by a into 895 by h 2 mg plus mg into 2 by 2 mg so 2g 2g will be cancel out and d by a 8 sorry 895 theek 95 by h m plus m by small m 8 okay so this is what n square so this is how you can find out the equation all right so basically uh, this is all about uh, you know solving proval governor and uh, all that so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye